just got your new union split board bindings and you're itching to start pushing for peaks. But first, you've got to figure out how to mount your bindings. So grab a tape measure, a number three Phillips head screwdriver, all of your hardware, and let's get to work. In this video, I'll be setting up the charger FCs, but this process will be the same for any of Union's splitboard bindings. Just like with normal bindings, before you start any screwing, you'll first want to measure out where your stance will be. The hardware we'll be using aligns with two neighboring inserts. So measure your width from the midpoint of each insert pack. Next, grab two mounting plates and place them atop the inserts you measured out for your desired stance width. Using the 10 millimeter screws, which are the shorter screws that came with your bindings, loosely screw four into the mounting plates. Now take your plastic reference square and push it into the remaining holes on the plates. This will properly align the hardware for mounting your bindings. Making sure both plates are centered, tighten the screws all the way by hand. Remove the reference square when finished. Next, take two of the plastic split discs, one labeled front for the toe side edge and one labeled back for the heel side edge of your board. Using the center mark on the disc, align each locking washer with your desired binding angle. Keep in mind the angles you set for the front and back disc will be opposite so to properly align with your binding. Use the longer 18 millimeter screws to secure the split discs by first loosely putting each one in before fully tightening each one by hand. With one binding mount installed, repeat this process for the opposing binding. For setting up the quiver connection on your solid board, the process will be similar by using the solid mounting plate and solid disc that indicates back pointing towards the heel side edge. You'll use the locking washers to adjust your angles the same way we did on our split board. If you want to follow along for a behind the scenes look of our split board missions, check out our snowboarding newsletter. It's called The Shred Letter and it's where we go more in depth with our boarding adventures. Click the link below to subscribe and get the newsletter weekly sent straight to your inbox. Getting back to the binding, let's mount the touring brackets. Begin by removing the yellow adhesive tabs. If you happen to pop out the square plastic piece that the tabs hold in place, make sure they are oriented with the speed bump facing towards the front of the bracket. This will be pointing towards the nose of your split board. Using the shorter 10 millimeter screws, loosely place in three screws. Center the touring bracket and fully tighten down each screw. Repeat this process for the second touring bracket. You'll notice there will be two empty inserts remaining below the touring brackets, but no need to worry about these as they are used for mounting bindings from other brands. To mount your bindings, release the dual locking lever at the heel, align the center binding line between the center dots on the disc, push down, turn counterclockwise until the binding stops, and push down on the locking system lever. This may seem hard and you might feel a lot of friction the first time you mount your binding. To relieve some friction, run through mounting the binding a few times, fully twisting and locking the entire binding every time. Additionally, you can lubricate the inside of the binding and the outside of the disc for smoother use. I suggest using TriFlow for this. It's only a few bucks and you can find it linked below. For touring mode, you will notice the pegs on the brackets each have flat vertical sides. Your bindings have matching holes, each with two flat sides. To properly mount these, tilt your binding at a 90 degree angle and slide them onto the brackets, pushing them all the way through the pins. Now rotate your binding down towards its base. To remove the binding, reverse this process. You'll feel the friction of the rubber speed bump when lifting up. Once you have passed this point, the binding will easily slide off the bracket. Now that you're all mounted, you're ready to claim your next peak. If you've got an awesome upcoming splitboard mission, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Otherwise, check out one of my favorite missions when I rode my first Kular right here. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you somewhere on the mountain. Peace.